Use the Informatica Connector Toolkit to build an adapter that provides connectivity between a data source and the Informatica platform. The Informatica Connector Toolkit Eclipse plugin improves the productivity of adapter developers by providing a simplified development interface. In this demo, we will use the plugin to develop a YouTube adapter that can read and write YouTube comments. First, we need to create a project. Let's click the Connector button. Then we'll enter the project details and click Finish. The project appears in the Connector Navigator view. Notice that there is also a Connector Progress view. This view guides you through the steps to develop the connector. We need to define the connection. Right-click the project and select Add Connection. You can also click the link in the Connector Progress view. Now let's enter the connection details. Since this is a sample connection type, we'll click Add New and then enter Sample as the name for this category. Then click Next to continue. We need to specify the properties that the user needs to configure when they create a YouTube connection. Click Add to configure each connection attribute. For this example, we need to enter attributes like client ID, client secret, and redirect URI. The display name is the property name that will appear in the connection object. The description appears as a tooltip in the administrator tool. Click OK after entering the attribute details. After we add the additional attributes, we can click Next to continue. You can add one or more libraries that are required for the connection. In this demo, we will add the JSON Smart Libraries. Then click Generate Code to generate the Java source code for the connection. Notice that the connectivity folder of the project contains two source code files. The YouTube Connect Info Adapter file contains methods for connection validation and attribute dependencies. The YouTube Connection file contains methods that open and close the connection to the YouTube service. We need to update these files with the required code. Now let's define the type system. Right-click the project and select Define Type System. Click Add to begin adding types. The type system defines how the adapter data types map to the Informatica data types. In this demo, we need to enter type system attributes for Boolean, DateTime, LongInt, and String data types. Once we are done entering the types, we can click Generate Code. Now let's define the YouTube metadata that is required for the data source operations that we want to implement. You can have multiple native metadata definitions for a single adapter. Each native metadata definition must have either a read or write capability. In this demo, we need to create a native metadata definition for the YouTube adapter to read and write video comments. Right-click the project and select Add Native Metadata Definition. We need to add the native metadata details. In this demo, we need to indicate that the metadata is related to comments. You can add record extensions to add data object attributes that are not included by default. For example, if a table contains metadata that indicates who the table owner is, you would need to add table owner as a record extension. In this demo, we don't need to add a record extension, so let's click Next. You can add field extensions to add attributes that are not included by default. For example, if a column contains metadata indicating that it is a primary key, you would need to add is primary key as a field extension. In this demo, we don't need to add field extensions, so let's click Next. On this page, we configure the read capability. Click Enable Read Capability, then click Add to add the video ID and max results attributes. Once we are done entering attributes, we can click Next. On this page, we configure the write capability. Click Enable Write Capability. Then click Add to enter the video ID attribute details. Click OK after entering the details, and then click Next. We can configure import settings on this page. Let's choose to display filters by description, then click Generate Code. 
Notice that the metadata folder of the project contains the YouTube metadata adapter file. This file contains the methods for importing metadata. We need to update this file with the required code. You can double-click the file to view and edit the source code. Now we can add third-party libraries that our runtime code depends on. Right-click the project and select Add Runtime Libraries. In this demo, we need to add the JSON Smart and GData runtime libraries. Libraries that you entered for the connection appear here by default. Click Add to include additional libraries. After you add all the required libraries, click Finish. Notice that the runtime folder of the project contains source files. The YouTube data adapter file contains methods for reading and writing YouTube comments. The YouTube connection file contains methods for the runtime connection. We need to update these files with the required code. If we look at the connection progress view, we can see that the publish step is next. Publish the adapter to create server and client bundles that you can install on the Informatica server and client directories. Right-click on the project and select Publish. The publish location defaults to the project workspace. You can also choose to install the connector to a local Informatica server and client installation directory for testing purposes. Let's click Next to view the contents of the client and server bundles to be published. Then, click Finish to publish the project to the Publish location. Let's look at the folder where the files were published. We can see that there is a client folder and a server folder. There are also two bat files. To install the adapter to an Informatica server installation directory, shut down the domain and then copy the server folder and the install server.bat file to the server machine. Then launch a command window and navigate to the location of the install server.bat file. In the command window, enter install server.bat and then the Informatica installation directory. To install the adapter to an Informatica client installation directory, shut down the developer client and then copy the client folder and the install client.bat file to the client machine. Then launch a command window and navigate to the location of the install client.bat file. In the command window, enter install client.bat and then the Informatica client installation directory. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created and published a YouTube adapter that can now be installed on the Informatica client and server. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.